Hey guys, Augie's and here, coming some more Lost Dark. And today I want to talk to you guys about the next upcoming patch would actually be the Argos Raid, which is an 8 man raid starting at 14, uh, 1370 item level, the next part being 1385, and the next part being 1400. Now, if you've been playing Lost Ark since it came out about on the 11th of February, and you've actually funneled everything into your main and you haven't done anything else in tier 3, and you've actually managed to get to tier 3 with the tremendously bad success rates of the honing in tier 1 and 2 you'll be somewhere around where I'm at a little bit higher because I've actually been selling my materials in tier 3 so I'll say realistically 1340 is where you should be at around about now 1340 to 1345 to 1350 so in that range is where you're going to be if you have been playing and going hired since last I came out and actually funneling all the materials to your main and pumping up your main as much as you can so that that means when this comes out in another week, so say now another week from now, we'll gain about another 10 item levels. So maximum will be around 1360. We'll still be 10 item levels short of the raid coming out. So then that brings me to this next point that I have. Do not hone your gear in the next coming week and a week to two weeks, just until we can get a confirmation on this honing patch. Because right at the launch of Last Ark, they actually had a patch note saying that they were going to decrease the honing rates, uh, the success, increase the success rates of honing in tier 1 and 2. Let me actually bring that up for you guys. Yeah, another YouTuber made a video about it. And if we look over here, gears and tiers, tier 1, 100% success rate for tier 1 gears from 1 to 15. So you'll never fail and you'll also get two level ups for one. So you'll need half the materials to get to, once you get to 11 and the last four, you'll have to do one by one, but they'll still be 100% uh, success rate so you will never fail in tier 2 uh, tier 1 and tier 2 and if you look over here at tier 2 100% success rate for tier 2 1 to 15 as well same thing happens and then tier 3 the base will be increased so 20% increase and then 30% decrease in XP and 50% decrease in materials 50% that's pretty huge from 1 to 15 and 1 to 15 you should just about be around uh, 1340 1 to 15 a little bit higher than that but anyway so the whole point now is do not upgrade your gear because if this this thing of yeah this little patch the gear and tears patch there was actually I think they mistook that or they misplaced it or something but this is meant to be coming at some point and if it does come this week that means that getting up through tier 1 and 2 is going to be so much easier than what it is right now because right now it's crazy to go from tier 1 to tier 2 and the success rates is just terrible and then also in tier 3 what I would suggest if you're actually in tier 3 now and you want to start preparing for the Argos raid I would suggest getting your gear to plus 6. So you get it all to plus 6, you'll actually end up being 1325. Because once you go past plus 6, up until plus 5, it's all 100%. So this will be 100%, 100%, 100% all the way. And then at tier 6, level 6, I mean, once you get to plus 6. So I'm at 6. For me to get plus 7, it's already dropped down to a 60%. So that's quite a big difference there, 40%. And then once you drop down to plus 8, it goes even more. We'll go down 50, 40, 30, all the way, way down, really, really fast. It starts going down. So get to 13, 25, and then stockpile your materials. Also, what you could do is just don't even upgrade once you get to tier tier 3. Just sit at 1302 where you come in at tier 3, and then stockpile all your materials. These and these, and your harmony shards and all this stuff, just stockpile it all. What I've been doing is I've been selling the ones that aren't bound to me, and then the ones that are bound, I just keep those as upgrade materials. Because if that patch does come through, it will reduce the tier 3 50% of what you need to upgrade. So there I have 300 destruction stones. If we come look over here at this, if this actually gets the 20% increase on chance, then that will actually be 80% and the materials needed. So this over here will actually be halved. So I will need four leap stones, two of these fusion materials, 258 halved is like 120, 120 something. 128, 125, somewhere around there. So I can get two upgrades from what I have now, just out of my stones. And that will last me way longer. And this, for example, 120, it'll be 60, and it'll be two, and then it'll be one. Be a lot cheaper to upgrade in tier three. Just being able to get you up to 1370 so you can actually start the Argos raid. And the reason I don't have a problem with this is because tier one and two is meant to be a stepping stone. It's like a little, you know, just trying to get you into tier three where the real end game begins. And I've seen a lot of Korean streamers, a lot of famous ones like Zeals. He's actually spoken about the Guardian raids in Tier 3 are much better designed. So people could argue and say, well, Tier 1 and 2 is meant to teach you because they also did this nerf to the Guardian raids. If you have a look at this over here, 
the last update from May, March 3rd, so that was like two days ago. Actually, they nerfed the Phantom Palace, they nerfed Gates of Paradise, and a bunch of Guardian Raids, they nerfed a lot of things. But a lot of these bosses were actually poorly designed, or not poorly designed, but just you could learn all these mechanics they're trying to teach you in Tier 3. Apparently, the starting raids of Tier 3, the Guardian Raids, Zeals has a video about this on his channel, go check him out, Zeals Ambition, great, one of my favorite freaking Lost Ark streamers and YouTubers, he does really good stuff, go check him out, and he has said that in one of his videos, the Guardian Raids, there's much better design, so they're a lot easier to learn how to stagger, and how to do all those using your bombs as well, so stagger checks and using your bombs and bomb checks part of the fight, they're a lot better easily optimized fights, so you can actually learn those mechanics, instead of having like the really random randomness in the tier 1 and 2 guardian raids leading up to that but then again yeah tier 1 and 2 is just a stepping stone you're not meant to get stuck in tier 1 and 2 i was stuck in tier 2 for so long because my upgrade chance is actually horrible i suck at upgrading like my rng just sucks so i got to tier 3 in like three weeks it took me a while and this is playing every single day as much as i can all day pretty much and yeah so do not use your mats right now. I would say stick it out for a, for a week. And if you do have tier 1 and 2 mats as well stockpiled up, sell them. Sell them right now. Sell them. Go crazy. All the ones that are not bound to you, sell them. Just keep the ones that are bound to you. And if that change does go through, those should be more than enough to get you through. Doing the tower alone will get you enough materials to get through tier 1 and 2. The tier 1 and 2 towers, doing them on alts. So you clear it on your main so that your alts actually get all the materials as upgrades. That should be more than enough to get you through with those changes. Because you will need half of the resources or less. You'll need a third of the resources that it takes you now to get through 1 and 2. Tier 1 and 2 to get to Tier 3. So sell all your honing mats. Tier 1, 2 and 3 I would say. Or if you want to have actually have level up really quick one that thing does drop. So save all your mats in Tier 3. Sell Tier 1 and 2 mats to make a lot of gold right now. My gold looks pretty bad because I've been stockpiling on crystals. So I've probably spent about 20k gold just buying some crystals right now before they get overpriced as well. But uh, yeah, wait for that patch, give it a week, see what happens. If nothing happens, well then just use your materials like you were anyway. But hopefully it does happen and we can all get to tier 3 much faster. And we can all start having fun in tier 3 where the actual game begins with proper builds and actually having engravings, having all of them worked out. And your tripod system actually begins there and the gems and all the good stuff. So you can actually build your class and start experiencing it to its fullest. Anyway, thank you guys for listening, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to hit that sub button. i got so many videos for you guys coming up, and thank you so much for all the likes and support. Really appreciate appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Here